Redcar is a small town with a lot of fishing and a lot of seaside activities. There's lots of steelworks, which that's what a lot of the jobs are around here, steelworks and fishing and yeah, just a small town on the, on the coast. Coming into 2013 was a really big change for me. I had a new coach. I changed a lot of things up in my training. We changed a lot of things in the gym. I was out on the road bike a lot. After getting hurt last year, I had a long off season to really evaluate what I needed to do and where I needed to be. It was hard for me to come back from being hurt because I'd never had time off the bike like that. My confidence was knocked down a little bit and I had to do a few little races here and there to get back to where I needed to be. And now I've got the first World Cup at Fort William and I'm feeling really good going there and it should be a good weekend and I'm as ready as I've ever been. Packing for the first World Cup of the year. The only one I can take my van to. Obviously we all have a lot of friends, a lot of family there and I like the track so it means a lot to me with being a home race as well, you know, even though it's quite far away. As the World Cups go, it's my home World Cup. So when you drive to Fort William, like on the Wednesday, nothing changes, it's just the same. And there's only one supermarket, so everyone shops at the same supermarket. You see everybody and it's a funny feeling, like you drive through town and then you keep going off into the hills a little more and then you turn up into the venue and that's when it finally hits home and you can see the trail coming down the hill and it's quite a anticipation, ready to go racing and you get there and it's just like, right, I want to go riding, I want to go riding, but you can't do too much riding because the track's so crazy and so long. Probably the most important World Cup for me, like with a home crowd and a track that I really like, so that adds to it, that adds to the significance of me wanting to do really well and I've done really well there in the past, so I want to go there and win. Uh, we've got our first World Cup of the year. It's only June, so we haven't waited too long. <laughs> only eight months. I think everyone's pretty itching to go right, so it's cool. First work with the team, playing good, enjoying the weather, enjoying the bikes, enjoying the, the crew over here, so hopefully it's gonna be a sweet year for me, for the team, and let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, the team this year is one more than we had last year. We've got Marcelo on the team, and I've known Marcelo for quite a few years now. So it's good to have him on the team, he's a really nice guy. I'm stoked for Marcel. He's an awesome kid to be around. He's super thankful for everything. We're gonna see this season what he can do. Obviously Andrew is a very experienced rider, he's been doing it for a long time. We were having a conversation at the weekend, he'd been racing World Championships since 2000. That's a long time to be racing World Championships, so that experience really helps me out sometimes. Perfect. Oh, he just put a run in and he yeah. said, it's good in the straight line. Decision comes with all those top corners because sure. that's, that's where he'll win the race. Me and Dave have a really good relationship working. He'd gone back and looked at tape of me riding and he saw that I was getting out of shape and getting a bit loose at times and sat behind the whiteboard and changed some things on the bike and I don't get as loose anymore and that's all down to the bike setup. We are heading to the finish line here at Fort William for uh, the qualifying round. And we're gonna see how the boys go. Not expecting any surprises except what we're used to really, which is, you know, solid qualifier, top three will do. Fort William is very different to most World Cups. I mean, you have to get from your pits to the gondola. You try and not to ignore people, but so many people trying to stop you and getting in your way and you're just trying to get to the lift and get to the top. Put my headphones on and ride to the lift and don't let anyone bother me. I'll go up there now and do my own thing and not bother about anybody else. I don't care what anybody else has done like time-wise, no one tells me that. You can see when he gets into the start, he changes into a fairly different person, which you never see until he gets in the start. I'll rip this up now, mate. And then I get in the gate and encourage myself. I talk to myself a little bit and get in the zone. Come on. 
Damn. Come on. That was what we wanted today. That's that's what we practiced and trained for, you know, to get a good qualifier. There's still work to do tomorrow morning, but yeah, it's a great end to the day. Just takes a bit of pressure off Danny as well. In Fort William, I stay on the venue in the camper with the family. It's just like being at home when he's here in the camper. He knows where everything is. It's just familiar, isn't it? It's perfect for him. Making a spot of tea. Oh. Bit of dinner. Some chicken stir fry. Loads of veggies. Get myself started for tomorrow. Next thing is to go to bed, wake up, practice, then go racing. This was the first time I qualified first, and I knew after that that I was on it and I could fight for wins. Biggest day this year, yeah. We're ready for it. You know, I just hope he can do it for himself. I hope he can do it for himself. It'll be, um, it'll be a monkey off his back. Me and my dad have like a, a tough relationship. Like we argue a lot, we bicker a lot. He's just got me in his best interest and he wants the best for me. I just feel for him. It's not about him getting hurt or anything like that. It's just, I know how, how bad he wants it. I remember years ago at Nationals when the guys just told me he was walking around in circles beside himself waiting for me to come over the line. But I hear people tell me what it's like now. I ask him, well, did you see we nearly crashed there? I think, no, I never saw it. I said, why not? Well, you're not even watching. And he doesn't watch, I don't think. Some people maybe say it looks like he's stressed out, but I see a lot of really passionate feelings going on. It's cool. Start of the top ten. Things are going to really start start heating up inside me now. Pedaled out the start, and I was really strong and. You could tell that from the first split, I was 0.2 off G and he was a big guy and he can pedal and it got a bit further down and I just felt like I was pushing too hard and nearly crashed once and just pushed it that bit much. Come on mate, come on! Come on mate! Come on! Fuck! Come on! Danny Hart goes seven! Where was Danny? This is seven. I don't know what you should do in that situation, whether you should go and stay there and see everybody, congratulations on winning this and that and the other, but then I just rode straight out of the finish and just went straight back to the van. I mean, the first thing he said to me when we got back to the pits, when he was sat in the back, he said, I feel embarrassed how much it meant to him. He felt embarrassed that he'd let everybody down. Everybody expected him to win, and all I could do was put my arms around him. I mean, he felt embarrassed about doing what he did. You know, that's crazy. But that's really how passionate he is. You know, he felt he'd let people down, and he'd let nobody down. He'd let nobody down. Yeah, I mean, I had a good week until today. Well, until this afternoon, I was pretty nervous. There was a lot of hype for me coming into this race. A lot of people saying they thought I was going to win and this and that and the other and I went out there and gave it all I could and didn't win, so, but 
open a dorm and start again. Another day, another weekend. When he's got nothing on, he goes to Hamsterley with his friends. You know, Hamsterley's no radical track, and he, he could probably ride there with his eyes shut, but he just likes riding his bike. Well, Danny's 21 now, and he's been doing it since he was seven, but keeping it fun. I want to just keep riding my bike. I don't want to do anything else. Nothing else interests me. Even though I'm not riding my push bike, I'm watching videos online, or I'm out on my trials bike, on my motorbike, on my BMX. If I saw it as just a job, I'd just ride my bike to the minimum, but I ride my bike as much as I can. I mean, he's finished second twice at Fort William. He's finished second at Val d'Azol. God, that wind's got to come. The hunger is, I don't want to be two, three, or four, or five up there anymore because no one remembers them, so it's all about number one. It's the next goal of mine is to win these World Cups.